What is going on everyone? This is Enzo here back with another edition of my Chelsea career mode. Uh, first up we have our FA Cup match versus Tottenham. This is the round, this is the quarterfinal. Speaking of quarterfinals, I just wanted to jump ahead and show you guys our Europa League quarterfinal matchup which is going to be versus PSG which is a rough quarterfinal matchup for the Europa League. Um, just one note guys, I think I'm going to start doing videos um, three to four times a week instead of every day. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. Um, I have come to realize that posting every single day was a bit ambitious with a full-time job. Uh, I didn't really realize how much actual time it takes to make a video. You guys would be pretty surprised. Generally how it works is about an hour or so of game time usually boils down to about a 15 minute episode and then it takes roughly another 30 minutes to an hour to edit everything and produce a thumbnail and everything like that on top of it so it's about really two hours of work per episode which when you have a full-time job and then other hobbies as well it makes it nearly impossible to post a video every single day so i think for now i'm gonna have to post three to four times a week uh, if it ever comes where I don't have a full-time job, then I'll post every single day. But I think until then, it's going to be much more realistic to go three or four times a week. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas or ways around that. But for now, I think that's how it's going to have to be. One other note, we're going to move the difficulty level from world class to legendary. I think world class is becoming a bit too easy for us. We're winning a lot of games, you know, three and four, nothing. It's getting a little bit monotonous you know winning three four nothing every game so i think it's time to bump up to legendary and see where that takes us just a couple of team sheet notes as we jump into this fa cup quarterfinal versus tottenham we're gonna have barkley's gonna come into the middle kovacic in the midfield victor moses on the right those are all fitness changes and then we're gonna have emerson on the left in for an injured marcus alonso let's get into the game spurs quickly counter back the other way we're gonna step up try to steal that one Gonna try to get back here with Emerson. Emerson has a good bit of pace. Somehow runs right by Son. Son shoots. Kepa dives and keeps us in the game. Conte gets beat for pace by Lucas, who just tries to cut that one in the middle. Terrible clearance, and it's in the back of the net by Erickson. I don't know what Maguire was doing there. What was that? See, Lucas beat Conte for pace. Maguire headed it right to... Erickson who just side footed it right into the side of the net. We are down early. Hazard in a bit of space here. Hazard's gonna cut back in his right foot. Hazard shoots and scores in the top corner. There is our first goal on legendary. We could definitely make this mode work is we're just getting used to the pace of the game. That was beautiful stuff though, just like the old hazard cut into a brilliant bit of space on the wing this is Emerson first time ball into Hazard undresses Davidson Sanchez feeds it into the top corner we are level 1-1 one, one. see where we could go from here Barkley over to Werner Asensio on the wing Asensio looking for an open teammate and a switch play back over to Emerson over the diminutive Lucas Conte back outside to Hazard Hazard stolen in the middle Dyer. Sammy Kadira has moved on from Juve to Spurs. That's interesting. Let's see if we can get something going here. Hazard. Hazard. Sees Werner. Werner on the right foot. Werner shoots. Lodis makes a great save. Let's see if we can add this one back. Let's see, we collect possession of the ball. Don't want to lose this here. And Kovacic, see if we can play this one correctly. No, we cannot. Kadira picks that one up in midfield. Off the sun. It's all a bit narrow in midfield. Don't want to let Spurs in behind. Lucas with some nifty footwork. Kane saved by Keppa. Oh, this isn't really what we want. Kadira. Let's get back and defend. Spurs are open. Oh my goodness. Erickson just in the bottom corner. I found that world class mode. Every time they're in any bit of space, they're pretty much going to score. Just right into the bottom corner. He's wide open. I saw it happening a mile away too. Maguire stepped up, couldn't get there. Right in the bottom corner. We're really gonna have to push up now. I think we're gonna have to go on attacking mode. I don't like ultra attacking because defenders get too high. For people get too far out of position when you go on ultra attacking. 
Like, even for in an attacking set, just people aren't standing in the right positions. You can win this header! Come on! Ref! Ref! Please! Referee! Referee! Fabregas! This is probably gonna be our last chance! Into the middle! Werner! Just over the net! No! That was our last chance! We're gonna go down 2-1 in the FA Cup! Let's see if we can add this one back in. Oh no, and it looks like we we're gonna go out of the FA Cup. We gave it a good run, but it looks like we we're out 2-1. Still adjusting to the up gameplay skill level. Still getting used to Legendary. Maybe shouldn't have done the first, very first Legendary game on. I know some of you are probably laughing like Legendary is probably ridiculous to you. I know a lot of you out there don't even go below Ultimate difficulty. But for now, we're gonna be on Legendary. Uh, maybe should have taken an easier game before jumping right into the FA Cup, but that's okay. We're gonna kick on from there. Also guys, I don't know if some of you are opposed to this, but I think I'm also gonna start simming some of the less big matches. I'd really like to be able to just play uh, the bigger fixtures on a more regular basis. I feel like we're getting very stale, the series, by showing literally every single game versus teams in the lower half. I think what I'm gonna do from now on is sim like the little in-between games that don't matter as much especially versus lower half teams so we can more readily available play the big fixtures so for in this example instead of showing so we played Tottenham in the FA Cup I'll play that one but then instead of sitting through Fulham and Cardiff I think it'd be more fun to just kind of sim those two in this occasion and then get into the City game so that way you can see the Tottenham FA Cup game and the City game in the same match in the same video instead of Tottenham and then watching Fulham and Cardiff and then next time City and then I might even sim this Everton and West Ham game so that way then the next episode would be a PSG twice and Liverpool uh, I just think it'd be a lot more fun that way and it would move the series along more quickly and just keep things more fresh so let's go ahead and sim this game versus Fulham and see how we do so let's see let's get into this one I think this is the first game we've simmed in uh, the regular season so far See, they get a uh, yellow one minute into the game. Must have been a brutal challenge. Asensio puts one in early. Wonder what kind of goal he scored. Probably curled one on. No, Asensio gets injured. Hopefully that's something light. They haven't taken him off. Just the band-aid symbol. Now they do. Kovacic comes in for Asensio. Werner puts us up 2-0. Moses on for Maguire. That's interesting. Change at that point in the game. 2-0. Schurler. Andrea Schurler. Forgot he's on Fulham this season. Fulham were able to bring in some nice players. Uh, Jean-Michel Seti. I don't know. I saw this last time we played them too. Chiesa. And I saw his name was F. Chiesa. I don't know if that's Federico or not. But that would be an amazing pull too. Anyway, we're going to take this 2-1. to one. Let's get into the next one here. Got a couple messages. Player injured. Let's see the Asensio. Torn quad. Eight weeks. I guess this is why you don't sim games. That that sucks. Let's see, Koulibaly's happy, but in the meantime, gonna have to take Asensio out. Um, shoot. So I guess we're gonna have to put probably Pedro in that slot for now. I'm gonna have to bring in Pedro and Asensio. Let's throw Rudiger. Yeah, we should have Rudiger in there anyway, but. All right, so we're gonna have to have Pedro in there for now. I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and then let's get into this next game versus Cardiff. Let's go ahead and sim that one real quick. All right, so that's the Asensio torn muscle. Man, that that is a real that that really sucks. So let's go ahead and go towards Cardiff. Let's get into this Cardiff game. Actually, you know what? Let's get some training going. Or sorry, training's not available right now. Let's get into the Cardiff game. Let's go ahead and sim this one. We are one for one in sim games. Took the first one versus Fulham, two to one. Let's see, nothing, nothing still. Milinkovic Savage, the big serve, gets on the board early. Bamba got a yellow two minutes in. Let's see if we can wrap this one up. Away to Cardiff here. Two nothing, Milinkovic Savage again. Not a whole lot of action into the second half here. Let's see if we can hang this on. This would be two quick wins on the hop. Surely we're going to wrap this one up here. A miracle would bring Cardiff back. We're going to take this one 2-0. Nice. Back-to-back 2-0 sim games. Let's see where that leaves us in the table. So that puts us... We have a chance to jump into first. Wow, this season is actually flying by. That's... We are on... We only have eight games left. And we have a shot to 
finish the game at first. This is a huge game versus City right now. Um, this is going to be really rough on Legendary mode for me, but we'll see how it goes. They keep giving me this message, we're not on track because I'm not investing in youth, but I don't intend on playing past the second season anyway. I want to play the second. What I want to do is play in the second season. I really just want to only play the Champions League games because the whole point is to get Chelsea back into the Champions League and then see how we can go from there after we bring in some really huge names. So I'm not that worried about it. If I can finish first or second in the table, I don't think they're going to fire me just if I just because I didn't invest in youth. I don't think that could happen. So... That's what we're going to do in terms of that. Who do we have in here right now? Let's see. You know what? Let's try to get... I don't think... No, Koulibaly will be growing anymore, but he's pretty close to 89. So let's throw him in there and see if anything happens. Because that would be really sweet to get him up to 89. Yeah, it does like anything really moved. I might have to take him back out. Um, it's got an advance in the season here. Let's go ahead and get into this next game first huge game for City. Luckily, we've had plenty of time to rest. We're not going to have Asensio, but we are going to give it our best run anyway. All right, this is going to be a huge test here. Werner's moved from 84 to 85. Unfortunately, Pedro had to come in on the wing for Asensio, but let's see what we can do. Sané on the wing early here. This isn't the start we want. Keppa going to knock that one out for us. Let's get on the move here quickly. Hazard. De Bruyne steps in nicely. City are extremely quick. Lost earlier in the season. Remember, we lost at home like 5 nothing, Something like that. I was going to switch to five an overload loaded midfield of 5 in the midfield. I might do that pretty quick here, depending on, how, depending on how this goes, to help keep possession of the ball. They are already all over us here. Kappa, the hero, comes to our, our rescue. I might have to switch to the 5-man midfield sooner rather than later, because this is already... They are already all over us. Koulibaly, let's keep you back in the middle. Don't really want him running out wide like that. All right, let's see if we can catch them. I think I think our, ch our best chance is going to be on the counter like this. Hazard. Hazard is in behind early here. Hazard on his right. Hazard shoots and scores. We are up 1-0 early on City. That is a huge improvement. Last time we got thumped 5-0. Hazard scores. In the early going, springs him. City were caught so high upfield. I think they got a little cocky. They had like five men in our box. The away fans are going nuts. Hazard used that speed to just burn right by City. Push the ball out wide. Over the top shoulder of Anderson. We are up 1-0. Let's see how long this is going to last. Oh, this is some nice play here. Milinkovic, Savage, man open in the middle. Oh no, how did that not No! How did that not go in? Oh my gosh, we panicked and took the follow-up too late. Oh, I wanted to see the one before that. Maybe not. Otamendi was right there. The previous one went off the crossbar. I would have been so happy if we were up 2-0. I was even surprised with the first goal. <laughs> Jorginho. Come on, ref, give us the free kick. Sergey fires one from deep. Rocket of a shot. Oh, just they just keep it in. Would have been nice to have a corner there. Sergey steps up. Oh, we can't win that one. They're coming the other way. Sané is in some space. Azpilicueta can't keep up with him. Azpilicueta, Sané, no! It goes right through Kepa. How did he not stop that? Oh, no. Let's see. I saw Sané making a run from a mile away, too. Azpilicueta just couldn't get there. I don't know. Kepa just flapped at it and didn't get it for whatever reason. Let's see one more angle on this. See, eh, it was a far bit into the corner in the end. Kappa just making a ridiculous dive out at 1-1. I'm back. Koulibaly, get in position. Well, he's going to have to come out now because no one's going with Sané. De Bruyne, Aguero, going for the ridiculous. Oh my, I mean, just... Can I just pretend like that didn't just happen? That's... Oh, my. Well, 
We're in some space here. We could be in. Could be in. Man open on the back post. Oh! Who was that? Was that Werner? Or was that offsides? No, they're going to give it to us. It's 3-2. We're still in this one. I was literally going to turn off the system and try to play again after those two goals, but I didn't do it. But Werner with the spectacular up 3-2. We could still be in this. Let's try to see if we can steal this one real quick. How much stoppage time are they going to give us? This would be ridiculous if we could come back here. De Bruyne once you get the ball it's actually not that hard to counter on them because they push so many men high up the field it's just hard to get it and then once they get it they just it's like it just auto passes in circles it's so annoying but let's see come on referee referee do not blow the whistle referee do not blow the whistle we just don't have the speed some guy I've never even heard of takes the ball I should probably look him up probably a youngster or something we go down 3-2, made a bit of a game at the end, probably gave it away a little bit. I mean, in fairness, they had 13 shots, we had 6. Uh, really a much better effort, though, if you consider the first time we were playing on World Class and we lost 5 nothing. This time we were on Legendary, made it 3-2 and played a much closer game. So I think we should still be in second of the table. So even though we threw that one away at the end, I think we're still in a good spot. Yeah, still going to be in second place here. Let's go ahead and let's go into some training real quick. Going to go ahead and sim that. Actually, Koulibaly is going to be able to get to 89, so that'll be good. Even though, so let's go, what are these two messages going to be? Press conference, it looks like. Let's get rid of that. Barkley is disappointed. He's been playing well for us, but I just didn't want to use him in that game. I wanted to use Malinkovic Savage instead. Um, let's go ahead and sim these two games versus Everton and West Ham real quick and see where that takes us. Let's see. Let's throw the same squad out there we played with. I believe they should have had time to recover. Let's see if we can get... Everton has been a really fun team to me this year. They have uh, bringing in Richarlison um, you know, they've been playing pretty well. It looks like they have Ndidi in there. Uh, they brought over Mina, too. For some reason, Mina has number nine. I don't know what that's about. They have Stecklenburg. The old, I know him as uh, being the Roma keeper a long time ago, but still nothing, nothing. Looks like this one might end. Hazard misses a penalty. Azpilicueta to our rescue. We're going to take that one, one nothing. Picked up quickly right from that City game. We'll take that, one nothing. Let's go back to the office again. See, you know what? Let's do the press conference. We are going to... You know what? Let's be a little... Let's unnerve West Ham and see what they think about that. I got to get rid of that message because I have OCD. Let's get rid of that. Low into... So let's advance. Let's sim this game versus West Ham and that'll set us up nicely for... That'll, that should set us up nicely for our, our next round versus PSG. I haven't used this for a while, but let's put... I mean, Conte is a red card. Did he pick that up and I just didn't notice it? Or is that an accumulation of yellows, maybe? Is that a, is that in the EPL? Do you guys have the accumulation of yellows rule in the EPL? I think so. I would assume so. Mm, so let's go ahead and actually use the quote-unquote easy cup game squad for now that I haven't used for a while. I haven't even looked at this lineup for a while, actually, since the early stages of the FA Cup. Yeah, a lot of these players are going to be really tired. I'm going to have to go ahead and edit the Easy Cup game squad real quick. Oh, it really hurts us having Asensio out, but let's go ahead and put... We're going to have to put Conte on the bench here anyway. Let's put Conte on the bench here. Kula ball. Let's put Azpilicueta here, and then in the next game, you know what? Let's put Azpilicueta in the middle. That's a, I like that Azpilicueta because Zapacosta and Azpilicueta can come out for Kula Bali and uh, Moses in the or Moses is in this starting lineup, huh? Let's see. Let's go ahead. Man, we have a lot of tired players right now. It's that time of the season, huh? Pedro's gonna have to. You know what? Shoot, Pedro's gonna have to come out. We might have to do a bit of a formation change, or just Loftus Cheek doesn't play in the wing, really, does he? I guess he could technically be a left midfielder. Fabregas, Kovacic, Moses, 
Verner, I don't really want him in there because I want him fully fit for the PSG game. Let's put in, we don't really have, we never really replaced him with a backup striker though. You know what, let's leave Werner in there to make sure we win this, win this game versus West Ham and then we'll take the PSG game from there. So let's go ahead and sim this one. Didn't I just fix that? Or who, let's see, what's the problem? Is someone injured? Oh, that's why Asensio's on the bench here in this game. All right, let's take Asensio out. Let's go ahead and save that team sheet, and then let's go ahead and sim this game versus West Ham. All right, let's go ahead and get into this one. We're doing pretty well so far with the first few sim games. Chelsea versus West Ham. Let's see, Werner scores early, repaying our faith, keeping in the game. Loftus Cheek picks up a yellow. Felipe Anderson, the former Lazio man. He's been excellent for West Ham this so far this year. He's been a really good pickup for them. An absolute, I don't know, bargain. What did he go for, 35, something like that? Either way, he's been awesome for them. Uh, particularly in the United game, I think it was. I think it was the United game. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and win 2-1 here. Although, who hasn't been excellent versus United lately? Uh, no, they're... Uh, sorry, United fans, but they're just... I mean, you guys know know how it's been lately. Uh, let's see. Press conference. Let's go ahead and get ourselves ready for the next episode. We're going to praise ourselves on the back of a few wins here. Conte has completed his suspension, so he'll be able to play. I think that's talking about the next EPL game. But this next episode... Let's sim up to this PSG game here. But this next episode is going to be awesome. If we look in the calendar, the next episode is PSG twice and Liverpool and then United coming up. So I think we'll play the two PSG games and Liverpool in the next episode. Tonight is what? Tonight is Tuesday or Wednesday night. So I don't know if I'm going to post. No, I'll, I'll you know what? I'll post tomorrow because I didn't today. So there will be an episode tomorrow morning so i think we'll do thursday and saturday i think what i'm gonna do to be honest i think it's gonna be tuesday thursday saturday maybe monday monday tuesday thursday saturday something like that i feel like those are the days most people watch videos it seems like anyway but like i was saying at the beginning of this episode i think it was a little ambitious and unrealistic to post a video every single day with a full-time job so i think it's going to be three possibly four times a week let me know what you guys think about that anyway uh i had a lot of fun this next episode should be awesome uh i'll see you guys later in the week have a good night